Hello, my name is Vinay and today I will talk about and document explorer task flow in Web Center Portal. I have already made a connection between Web Center Portal and Web Center Content in the Enterprise Manager. And uh, okay, so today I have created a Web Center Portal application and I will go to the administration, create a new page. I have already created a page. You just can create a new, you can create a new page using create page. I will edit this page on the edit page. Click on the add content. Here we have different options. We will select content management. Here we will select document explorer and click on add. This task flow is already added. You will click on it and you will click on close. We will now go to the portal and this is our page. Here we can see we have a panel collapse. We can expand it collapses and here we have the contribution folder which is a root folder from the center content. We will click enter it and these are the Files store in the web center content. We can create basically, we can create a new folder here. This is the demo folder we have just created now. We click on we entered it and we try to upload. Here we have very good features like Dropbox. You can directly upload using drop file here. I will just use drop file. And here we, also, we can also see uh, the file. And if we somehow added a wrong file, we can remove as well. We click here to upload. Files are uploaded now. We can enter some description here. Press file. Click on upload and there's a checkbox checkbox which whenever the checkbox when, whenever you check this checkbox it will automatically create a new version for the file. And if you un if you uncheck this checkbox, it will replace the existing file. So click on the load button. File is now checking. You can also see we can also upload new version here. We can check out this file. We can also create a new folder here. We can rename, we can cut, copy, and delete as here. Also, we can see the detail of this file. And these are the basic metadata of the web center content. We have the doc name like this. There's a description of the file, there's a size, credit by, and the version stored in the history. Okay. We can also get a link, description to content, and using this spread from we can navigate in the folder. I will go to the contribution folder. Here also you can see the file structure. We have different files. You can also create a new wiki document. And when we create a new wiki document, it will create on the runtime and it will automatically update. Uploaded in the web center content. We can use this trace, HTML, and preview. So we will decide this is great. File is created. We can also edit it. Click on save and close. Now file is edited. A new version is created here. You can also see info about this file, about this metadata. You can also download this file. We now it is going to save it. Okay. Now we will again go to the contribution folder. Here we can also upload new documents. You can download the file. 
and here we will have the name you can also sort by the journey this icon is especially if we have workflow enabled in the printing content it will give the workflow information for that particular document we can also see we can also add some size new size added and also add take created new column will be added and we can also reorder the columns workflow status down after the checkout and now yeah. and we can also see we can also search some file by the folders and we have the two different files so document explorer task flow is very useful task flow whenever we want to display the content from the web center content into, into the web center explorer that is all and it we go to the administration and we just try to edit the page. We can also can create new pages here and also create an edit page. And we can also change the layout and so on. So this is the document explorer task flow. And make sure that you will you should have and you should have and active database connection here that's all thanks for watching me thank you